Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Thursday, August 25, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general in these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you at least 5 betting picks for each game, a team pick, a total pick and multiple prop bets based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Cincinnati Reds vs Philadelphia Phillies The Philadelphia Phillies, 69-55, will go for the four-game sweep when they host the Cincinnati Reds, 48-74, on Thursday. The Phillies beat the Reds 7-5 on Wednesday. Our team pick is Cincinnati Reds plus 1.5 runs. And here is why. The Reds have dropped 11 of their last 15 games, and are 4th in the NL Central, 22 games out of 1st and 2 games ahead of the last place Pirates. Cincinnati is 22nd in MLB with $893 in profit, according to Covers.com. The team's biggest weakness has been terrible pitching, ranking 28th with a 5.02 ERA. They got another horrific start from TJ Zhu on Wednesday, who allowed six earned runs without any strikeouts in two and two-thirds innings, which put the Reds down 6-1 to one after three innings, on their way to their third consecutive loss. Unlike the Reds, the Phillies have a lot to play for. Heading into Thursday, Philly is third in the NL East but currently holding onto the second spot in the NL Wild Card. They are two games ahead of the Padres and 3.5 games ahead of the Brewers who are the first team out. It's hard to like the Reds in this spot, but the Phillies as a minus 290 money line favorite is too much. Aaron Nola has been strong on the road this season but has struggled more at home. The Phillies also have dropped five of the last seven starts made by Nola. Justin Dunn hasn't been great in his three big league starts this season, but the Reds have managed to win two out of those three games. After dropping the first three games of this series, I expect the Reds to come close to salvaging a game here. Our total pick is under 8.5 runs. Although Cincinnati has a very poor team ERA, when playing against Philadelphia the total has finished under in 5 of the last 7 as well as in 8 of the last 10 played between the 2 and Philadelphia. The total has also finished under in 10 of Philadelphia's last 14 and in 5 of the last 7 that the Phillies have played against a team from the National League Central. Philadelphia owns the 10th best team ERA at 3.76. Our props bets are Our first pick is Philadelphia Phillies over 5.5 runs The Philadelphia Phillies have compiled an on-base percentage of .314 in addition to a team batting average of .251 for the year. They have been called out on strikes on 1,038 instances, 15th in the league, and have 1,051 hits. Philadelphia has hit 159 HRs for the season as well as 547 runs batted in. The Phillies hold a team slugging percent of .421 and they are scoring 4.63 runs per contest, 7th in baseball. They have put up 192 doubles, while walking 356 times as well as putting up 569 runs. The Phillies hold a team whip of 1.224 with a FIP of 3.62 as a unit this season. They have a ranking of 10th in baseball as a pitching staff in total hits surrendered with 978. The Philadelphia pitching staff have given up 500 runs for the year while having an ERA of 3.76, 456 earned runs yielded. Their K-BB ratio sits at 3.01, 1,078 strikeouts versus 358 walks. They have conceded 112 homers and they yield 4.12 runs per 9 innings, 10th in baseball. Our second pick is Reds under 5.5 runs. As a team, the Cincinnati Reds are scoring 4.3 runs per outing, which puts them at 19th in baseball. 
they have earned a total of 516 runs scored while holding a team on base percentage of .309. The Reds have tallied 183 two-baggers as a unit and have knocked 114 baseballs out of the stadium. They have accounted for 495 RBIs and 968 hits so far this year, and their batting average sits at .241. Cincinnati is slugging .377 and have been rung up 1,083 times, while being walked on 340 occasions. Our player props are Our first pick is Dunn over 3.5 hits. Dunn has taken the hill for 116 innings and has racked up 102 strikeouts so far in his pro baseball career. His ERA is 4.19, 54 earned runs allowed, and his whip is 1.397. He has given up 85 base knocks, 6.6 hits per 9 innings, with 77 free passes. Dunn 6-5 win-loss mark in his career, has a FIP of 5.94 while he has faced 507 opposing hitters during his time in the majors. Our second pick is under 3.5 runs. Nola, 75-59 career record, holds a 3.62 earned run average while giving up 7.8 hits per 9 innings. He has a K-BB ratio of 4.13 and he has faced 4,831 batters during his MLB career. He has conceded 475 ERs while holding a whip of 1.131 being the owner of a FIP of 3.3. During his pro baseball career Nola has surrendered 1,017 base knocks while he has earned 1,319 punch outs and 1,181 innings pitched. The Phillies hold a team whip of 1.224 with a FIP of 3.62 as a unit this season. They have a ranking of 10th in baseball as a pitching staff in total hits surrendered with 978. The Philadelphia pitching staff have given up 500 runs for the year while having an ERA of 3.76, 456 earned runs yielded. Their K-BB ratio sits at 3.01, 1,078 strikeouts versus 358 walks. They have conceded 112 homers and they yield 4.12 runs per 9 innings, 10th in baseball. Philadelphia has had relievers enter the contest in 47 save chances and they have walked away with 33 saves. They rank 7th in the league holding a save rate of 70.2% and they have sent 394 relief pitchers onto the field on the year. Their relief pitchers have stepped onto the mound 119 times in high leverage situations and on 104 occasions with base runners. Philadelphia relievers hold an inherited score percentage of 34.6% out of 156 inherited base runners. With 108 save situations, the Phillies have accrued 60 holds in addition to 14 blown saves, 